Hello, my little lovies. I'm Starlight, and today I'm excited to say we're going to talk about Ward Out's Lullaby for a Princess Animation. I remember seeing the, well, sneak peek, if you will, of this, what seems like for ever ago and this song just tugged on my heartstring. I've listened to Luna's revised version of it. I've listened to tons of different versions of it and I love this song and the animation is finally here my little lovies. So sit back, relax, and I'll be back in just a second after I watch this animation that I'm so excited to see and we will finally get to see if it was worth all the wait. I'll be right back. Pinky promise. All right, my little ponies, I'm back. And it's just so pretty. I wish I could do art like that. The shading alone is enough to be envious, but the way they did the colors is breathtaking. Quite frankly, it's some of the best animation I've seen besides maybe Button Mash, which was extreme at looking like the show, but this clearly wasn't designed to look like the show. More of just based upon. Sort of more like, oh, Disney movies are based off of fairy tales. They're not the same. So, I loved it. It was well worth the wait, my little ponies. And the song still gets me choked up. I mean, it's just lovely. I mean, the art is exquisite. The movements, not only does she move her legs, but they also have her whole body moving, which is how horses and ponies and equines move. They don't just move their legs when they walk, they move their whole body. And so the walk style for this was incredible. The detail they put into this. Yes, there are a few things I could nitpick. But quite frankly, considering the fact that, well, this is a fan-made work, they went above and beyond. Now, secondly, this is a sad song that's supposed to make you sad. There are three types of sad songs I can consider. There's the sad song, which is one of these. Lullaby Princess is a sad song. Then you have the sad song with a happy ending, such as Little Girl, or, and least final but not least, you have the sad song hidden in an upbeat tune, like Artificial Flowers and Mac the Knife. The Mac the Knife isn't so sad, it's kind of scary. So, yes, this song goes into the sad category, and the artwork shows that. The expression on Princess Celestia's face when she's battling her sister. You know, the way they bicker, the way Luna seems so sad when she's alone in her room. Uh, it's clear that no one has really been there in a while, and even things are knocked over, and the room kind of has a neglected feel. And I guess that shows how she's feeling. One of the few things that usually happens when people start to get depressed is, well, they start neglecting the area around them. They start turning the area around them to look like the way they feel inside. And so that clearly shows. So they put a lot of thought into this. And I think it was well worth the wait, my little lovies. And so I hope you give it a shot. I'll leave a link for the finished animation below. And another announcement. On June 13th is going to be released the 100th episode of MLP. Isn't that exciting, my little ponies? And so, on the 14th, I'm holding a fan chat podcast where we will discuss the past of MLP, the future of MLP, and, of course, the 100th episode. Well, I have actually have found a way for me to get the episodes. So, 
I am going to love to see you all there, my little lovey dovey kins, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Starlight Pony showing you, and as always, don't forget to sparkle!